Ban lon dia ketua ngan ni kuat nyai chan ba kaj ba mai ba ba kaj ba ba kaj ba nat ting ka ke na rai ko ka ke na pia ba ka ya ting eh lon dia a luak ta ban an nong ka ke na luak ke na ka ke na ka 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 ya ka ba ko je ran ya ya ide bu ya ran ya ide eh ran lo ide ke o be ke ta la ting on an ta la ting on ke ka pat ko ke ril ko ka nong ke ko le lo ai Ô có cho mình cái nó là chim kia của lều loài, có cái thiếu ốc coi. Ngày nay thấy có bao nhiêu cái mốc kiểu thứ, có đa đuốc đầm đắn kiểu bướm ít. Có ai cái nhà đó chứ? Khu mà kia bên, à khu mà cái đằng quê của lều bay, là cái gì? Bị bay ra thì nó là cái quan chức là bay. Còn mình thiếu bay cái mình, ai gật gật thì bay cái này quýt bay loài thì nó làm cái gì cái đó bay, quýt bự bự quá thì, nó cái chuyện bay cái chuyện kia này loài, cái này loài vậy, cái này loài vậy nó bị bắn cái gì thì? Nhà là kèo, nhà là kèo, quá chú quý chú trọng, quá chú quý làm tổ. Phá quý chú là chú khu mặt trụng là nhà chứ mình cái này có bỏ chiều. Nhà là bỏ chiều bỏ chiều, nhà là quân ngồi. The ships are very important because these are the people that stand with, among the people. Like when they are in the community, they really try to solve some problems. And also when we come to to the to, to the to the country all over when the ships are there it also help the country to go ahead so i can think the ships they are very important in the country and in the community in 2011 after nearly 50 years of civil war in sudan south sudan became independent only two years later in december 2013 a new civil war broke out in the youngest country in the world. Hundreds of thousands have died, millions have faced displacement and hunger, and the building of the new nation has stalled. But one of the country's oldest institutions is still standing, chiefship. Chiefship was at the heart of the indirect rule policy established by the Anglo-Egyptian colonial government at the beginning of the 20th century, whereby local leaders were appointed or elected as chiefs. They were given judicial powers, their courts had a police force and could send convicts to jail, and they would also collect taxes. Chiefs recall being powerful and respected, Throughout 2018, we visited Awil, Juba and Yerol, where the Rift Valley Institute organized chiefs' meetings and conducted research to understand the changing roles of traditional leaders in South Sudan and their relationship with younger generations. Located to the northwest of South Sudan, Awil is known for its stability, for the fact that it's a safe town where one can walk at night without fear. But this is a region which has suffered a great deal during decades of conflicts between the north and the south of the old Sudan. Since the 1980s, Awil and the northern Bahel Ghazal region, which borders nowadays Sudan, have been the target of raids by northern militias linked to the Sudanese government. Tens of thousands have fled conflict and repeated famine episodes during the Second Sudanese Civil War, from 1983 to 2005, between the Sudan People's Liberation Army of John Garang and the Sudanese government whose control of major towns in the south was reinforced by the railway coming from Khartoum. Nowadays abandoned, the railway remains like a symbol of this violent history. 
and of why some chiefs had chosen to join the ranks of the SPLA. Okay. Chief Akota Kodut was a soldier in the wildlife service when he defected and joined the SPLA. He was made a chief by John Garang in 1987 in a camp in Ethiopia where the rebellion was organizing itself. He returned to Awil after the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement in 2005. Around the time of independence in 2011, Hundreds of thousands of South Sudanese displaced to the north by the war returned to the south. They were called to come and take part in the building of the new nation. There was joy and hope. The independence of South Sudan was described as finally reaching the promised land after a long journey of more than 50 years. Chief Abakar Salatin Dishak was in Khartoum during the North-South Civil War which ended in 2005. When South Sudan was about to become independent, he mobilized the South Sudanese who had fled from Awil to Khartoum during the war to go back to their homeland. <laughs> Apada residential area was established to host those returning from Khartoum to Awil. But many of the houses built by the returnees are now abandoned. Chabra 
Il y a un 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 Faced with the lack of food and basic services, many went back to Sudan. Others remained in Apada and struggled to make a living, like the women selling small food items at the local market. <laughs> Chief Abakar Salatin is the head of the local court in Apada, where the day when we visited, a case of theft was being judged. We talked to one of the sub-chiefs, a member of the court. Dorm, 
To resolve disputes in their courts, chiefs refer to customary laws, which can differ from one region to the other. Elders in Awil still recall how such laws allowed for a peaceful resolution of major cases such as murders. During a meeting organized by the Rift Valley Institute, chiefs discussed their relationship with the judiciary system and expressed the challenges they face whether in Dinka localities or in other places. Man, man, she penjabe loy, chenjanang yega, local niaba, pejala guda, the local no reko loy zat achi jabe do niya ochen, owe jal dong pa ochen kajua jaku ba loy man, tawan kraja na. Ia nama ibu ayah. Jeriam, mana gaul, aku dah gaul. Fungkor waktu alten, ya ramda. Lebih fori aku leran nak. Wala ramda zatu. Lebih rapuk aku leran ada orang zatu je benda aja. Ada orang dun dah je dam. Aje. Oh, kiri kos kiri aku tim sen. Macam be keluakan ke? Keluakan aku tinggal ke je kau yang gudah warga ke ni? Keluak itu awak kalau ayat entar ke? Ali ulang deh ni. Laki orang Sudan gadim, aje nak wana lel long deh bebeh bej. Kalau wana lel ke mana aje lu iman. Laki nak aku tinggal nongke si bukoi bah. Asalnya begini sur kalian zaman Sultan aku tu kamsa sakit, sama begini mati. Et puis, je me suis dit, 
o zaman lema be ne na zaman kan gak du kruş sultan gak du kruş sip kalak bak du kruş madem fi ud kol de de salatin bir abolize gak du kruş ya ko ki la 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 kuma bita espele da hal ne salat bi gamak sultan du kruş de sabab a la sakar al kin mak kul fartak ita be bo sultan wa bi bara so that is the main challenge now and you see because of that people after realizing that there is weakness in the traditional authority administration some people decided to divert their cases to the judges ko kene bañ ke den ci ci ke jaay ay ci tene ando de bañ ben 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 ral fa ci bañ lu lu ral ka ji ay yab ka ka gudo ka ay kenya ba ci ke la lu ko ay tong tong tor den man pat ko ko daay ko ba ko ci ndal lu le ko a kene mu ñu wa ngum bu lo e ndu ben ke mu lo e de ga na ku may ci nge ji lo ke bay bi lo ke sir bu jallo ga de o ki wa ci o la bo bi a o la ngay la kana ria ko kana ria a ku mo won ngi jeen bu ngi peña bi koy ka a bu ke dang ra ka ke ga lang ke lo a o ko ci na ngi ko ko bu lo ki ko me so today kenen ke dang wi ko what we want as chiefs wa wi ko tem o wa le bet ka they want wa le ka wa ro They want to be subjected to examination with judges. Both them no, but but to be war of the thing. They we they want to be subjected to examination uh, about things. They should be given cases to judge with the judges, uh, and they should, uh, the judges should no longer assume that they are better than the judges. Here you can. I told them to be patient. Let them be patient. There is actually a division of labor. They will be limited to their to their role as chiefs who will deal with the minor cases and the major cases will be left for judiciary to judge in the future when when peace comes to normal when the country comes to its, its stability then probably all these things will be respected they will they will get their role as it used to be because the government does not function without the chiefs because the government is ruling people through the chiefs in direct rule like what was established during the british rule yeah Actually, when I was having a case to report, I I first sat down with my family and asked them that I have a certain case that I wanted to solve. So, whom do you think I can go to first? So, my parents advised me, they say, first of all, this is the case for the community. So, what you have to do, you have us to go to the chief, and the chief will see if the case is not allowed for for him to resolve then he will hand it over the type of issue was the marriage case because uh, the 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 uncle was forcing me to get married to someone that I don't want and uh, I was feeling so discouraged to go to and I didn't choose to be married at the same time so I was trying to open a case for my uncle 
then I first look around searching home to run to. If I go to the police, that will not be a good person for me to run to. If I go to the governor, that is not the case. So I went back to the ships according to the stability they have. And uh, they solve for me these cases. They call my uncle and say, if she did not choose to get married at this time, so why are you posing? You should not post because it is her right. She has choose to be in the school, let her study. Then later on she will get married, no problem. So that was how case was solved for me. Yeah. And that's why now I'm saying it is very good for the ships to be in our community. And also I like every people and I like the government to encourage the ships to do their own role in the country and in the community also. For and Muslim, and Fandan call me Jinga Wicked. Sabab, who called it, didn't it? And in a yogurt, come a Jinga Wicked, Kinney Machaki. Well, I'm talking to you at Kiwai, Kin, by Chalabog, Marial Bai. Huh? Kitchen and Tiji in the bath, no Kulor, no Kuyin. A loop. Etty. Only Eman, 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 by ten, the man, the man, the thing I would. Then if you get a woman, you can get a third detail. You can get a third detail. You can get a third detail. You Just like I will, Yerol is one of those places in South Sudan known for their stability, despite being part of a tormented region. Located to the southwest of the Nile River's floodplain, the greater Yerol region is home to three Nilotic agro pastoralist communities the Aliab Dinka, the Chej Dinka, and the Atwat a diverse ethnic group that includes the Dinka-speaking APAC. They neighbor the Agar Dinka to the west and the Nuer to the north. Over the past 15 years, there was a surge in intercommunal violence in the wider region. Armed cattle raids, violent confrontations over grazing lands and revenge killings have disrupted people's subsistence in remote villages Many have sought refuge in Yerol town. Surmounting one of Yerol's central roundabouts, the Cooking Pot Monument celebrates the memory of chiefs. Their presence and importance is also marked by the large and central courthouse overlooking Freedom Square. Chiefs play a central role in maintaining peaceful relations among the three greater Yerol communities, but they face great challenges.
Chief Andromadout took us to one of his cattle camps called Tahir, located north of Yerol town between Nyang and Pagero. In mid-2018, these youth accepted to surrender their guns during a statewide disarmament campaign. Chief Andromadout is proud of his relationship with his youth in the cattle camps. This young man raises his arms to imitate the horns of his bull as the cows behind him leave the cattle camp to go grazing for the day. Armed cattle raids have become a constant threat that affects the lifestyle of the cattle camps. Chief Andromadout has witnessed these changes. He who started his chief career as a cattle camp leader in the 1980s.
Kau jepun ni, jangan dia tong banut. Kau kau ni, kau kau punya biru, kita banut lebih war. Kau itu rakyat kami, kau jual kau ingat, aje rakyat kau kau ceria. Ini jinga ayat yang nyuwi kan dalam lelba. Mayong lelba. Mayong lelba, jangan si wujud cakar betul. Kam don kau agar kau jalan ni, ini kena bang. Kam dah. Awak yang nak dang dah jangan yang cuma jauh dari tanah bayi. Ugu kalau kau yang gawe kalau yoga cakap kau dang deh. Apa yang kucing mana tau tan? Kucing kalau yang mana kau bilar or, awak tau mana or dia? Wajar wajar lebar lagi. Wajar lebar lagi. Kau benda dang itu. Kau naik kau kucing kau nak, kau nak kau zaman dah harloi. Kau kiri kau kau yang rumput jual kau yang rumput, kau kau yang rumput kau yang fikir jahat. Mak ini banyak nak simpan lebih dah. Ini nak keluar hari ni kita jadi ada rebolik. Biar tu dia. Bela jam ke kena bayar rebolik. Kaya Sultan Chicken. Ini tu bela jam ke ke? Jangan birer binyut bayar fenden. Kuba ku madit. So Sudan, bawa madit bukan lor. Kuba ke birer fenden tan. Emen, dia kacik nang ibu akaru. Eka kiri beban ke kena. Lain ni ada jenis ke jaya jaya ke pay. Kalau ni yang fit yang keluar. Kena lagi jalan ni kau jalan ke kecuali. Bukan kerana kita kebanyakan jadi penjajar, kerana mereka boleh kerana dia kebanyakan jual, bukan lulus pih yang ten. Kalau pih dia ni alat nak kerja ni kerana kebanyakan. Kena yang ni jadi Sultan doh, kerana bukan kau bina pih ke kau ikut. Buildings under construction, busy markets and crowded streets, even at night. Here all gives the impression of a booming little town. But many came here in search for safety and food. Selling a cow at the auction is a way to make ends meet. Kau jauh kau gil, mulai kau beli lagi kan orang musim, nangat itu dia mahu tuan yang kecil, kerana kau kau mana, tu ayer u tuan, sukul, sukul beri sin, sukul lah sin mana, kau jauh gil sin mana, kau ni kau 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 rar, jangan depoi dia mana kau down, kau nang rar jangan bulu itu, kau nang kau. Wu wu ni ni aku kan, ah melayu kerana. Wu dia kerja logor kan. Oh, we go again. We go again. Go on, go. I will just have been alone. We will keep a young thing. We will have fifteen million. So the man will have fifteen million. So the will have fifteen million board. But the board will come. I will just have been alone. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't The owner of these cowbells, ropes and collars, some of them decorated with bullets, prefers the safety of Yerol town to life in the countryside. Dah lain bay, beli jebat dia macam bapura ni pun. Kerana kujelu ayam lembang, kudama, kudama, kunega, kulungga cian ke. Kau macam kagak lo beli tenyung kau kaitau macam mana pil kau ini. Aiyah, awak cian tak? Nathan Wood, kau ni dah lama. Enu guru yok, kau cia, enu guru yok. Kuna lain cajban ni, kini lo beranda tu, kiri wong deh, benbi belum, kunegin, kujel kau wong. Kami baru aja. Wira man Medina, jangan makan biarlo. Kebetulan orang kerja awal biarlo. Ya ru lapor, lagi ini cakap kaya kaya. Kaya kaya kita ini kan mungkin kuda naik cakap kaya. Kau kau jalan nih cakap bah. Jangan kecam bah liu. Kaya kita ini jauh kuda. Ya ru mana kau es, lagi ini kau anak cakap. He saying that we are very peaceful in Yerol, and what we are lacking here is only food.
We went outside of Yerov town, following the road going to Rombek. Some 10 kilometers west of Yerov, we stopped at a small cattle camp on the edge of the coveted grazing land named Toich in Dinka language. You can see the beauty of the land and it is highly regarded by the first rollies and one of the strictly controlled places uh, in this land. So Toich is a very important place for many reasons. Uh, it is not just about the beauty of the land, but first is about the fascia, the nature of fascia, which is land is very good for cattle. And, uh, and second is also a source of fishing, uh, which is one of the main economic activities of, of the people of the area. And actually Toja has been one of the contested areas uh, between communities and the source of also problems because of its uh, importance to the life cycle of these communities. Especially if you, if you move beyond this area, less than uh, 20 miles away from here, you will see part of this touch is not being inhabited by fastrolies because of insecurity from neighboring communities. They are no longer grazing there and they are pushing, pushing closer to the main town because of insecurity. Especially ourselves, we educated youth, we find ourselves in a very difficult position. We find that the level of our participation as youth is limited in, in terms of policy making, in terms of collective decision. But we try to in, influence things indirectly, uh, like talking to our youth in cattle camps, not to engage themselves in violent activities like cattle raiding, which is so rampant uh, around this re region. <laughs> So these young boys here are looking after their cattle. You may see childhood orientations here is about how they should understand this kind of, of, of this, uh, this uh, part of our economy, which is the cattle. And, and actually this was my childhood orientation. The young cattle keepers take the herd back to Yerol for the night. We continued in the opposite direction, driving through this deserted grazing land to reach Alwakluak, the home of Chief Konmacha. The small town of Alwakluak is halfway between Yerol and Rombek. Rombek, the main town in the land of the Agar Dinka. A few miles before Alwakluak, we stopped at the farm of Chief Konmacha in Makok. <laughs> Oya poor mer, jala ijar, ano amaka na chabe yek, kaba oya poka, kubena ba poor. Wala ena menza tu ena kong poor, jal ena rai poor rongok. Wanu a garaban bikai bena mantega yeta. 
Chief Con's wife lives here at the farm with her children and relatives. It's an isolated homestead, miles away from Alwa Cloac, where tragic events happened. The town of Alwakluak was quieter than usual. Out of fear of an attack in retaliation for the arrest of two young men from Rumbek the day before, many residents were staying at home. Chief Khan and other chiefs sat under this tree, the court of Alwakluak, while at the local police station, cows seized by the authorities following court cases were taken to grazing. Chief Khan took us to where the home of his family has stood for generations. Uh, 
Kayen, Taban, when Kenya to Kenyal Babanwa, Taban Banya Banya Water, like in any coy. I need Jabu when she was Jato, and Jabu coy, a coy kid, which could allow them the term. It is said, Wakaj in Takabat, with a Kayet, Jayaga. Taban, can I say back at the Abiyala Academy, but don't I know Mokara? Could you buy a bell, Yoga, Bukalu, Moki, and there could be Yoga? When I lucky Yoga, she went to work, Jabella, come on my shadow. So, Chan Chiran, she tingled at the Bemu. Not on Moka, you care. Another one could tingle the Bemu, they were done jumped up. Back in Yerol, we were allowed to film at this detention facility set up in place of what used to be an oil factory during the colonial era. This is where the two young men from Lombek were kept since their arrest the day before on their way to Alwakluak after local authorities considered their journey suspicious. Chief Khan called his maternal uncles, who are also from Rombek, to inform them and have them talk to the detained youths. The two suspects and their motorcycle driver, a young man from Alwakluak, deny any wrongdoing, even though the chief suspects the driver to be an accomplice. But the accused claimed they were only looking for their cows that got lost. Ya para ganhar igual bem ontem, 
One of the ways for the chiefs of the region to promote peace is the ancient practice of wrestling. The Chech community of Chief Andrew Madudboy and the APAC of Chief Korn Mayor Macha met for a wrestling game at the initiative of researchers from the Rift Valley Institute in October 2018. <laughs> Kulur 
Gathered at the Catholic University in Juba, chiefs, organized youth, and researchers reflected on how the relationship between youth and chiefs is changing. Uh, well, that is not correct. Yeah, there are some youths who are uh, behaves negatively. We cannot uh, deny that one. And there are some youths also who are now involved in what we are in now. This conflict started since 2013 up to now. It shows that uh, that we already we are uh, represent the 60 percent of the population of South Sudan. We are majority men. So. In the insecurity of our community now, most people who are involved of our use. So it is their right to say, we use, we are not having respect for them. But it is, we are not all of us. There are those use who can listen. There are those use who can be ac accountable for their actions. There are those use who can be uh, part of their role in the community. We realize that in our findings, that uh, there is really a collapse of relationship between the youth and the chiefs. Yeah, since the culture is changing its own dimension, originally chiefs used to be respected in the community. But because there are some cultures which are coming in from different you know, dimensions, uh, chiefs this time have not been respected so much in the, in the community. Though uh, sometimes they are respected, but not so fully, because the youth themselves have become a problem in the community. Why they don't respect the chief? Uh, they look at chiefs like these are just people who are there uh, representing the government. So that is really that a gap, I would say. So, Bobby is as a Tamadia, the Carabo, the Enu, Kawai Masi Kalasu Jama, Mabri Gosok. Tanasa and the Bepe, the Gorilla and يعني نيه نما بيقول قال سبب بطال لأنه هو بيل رأس البطال يا كل ودي سبب بيجا كسر في حاجات على كان ناس جاتوا ما دار يعني يشوف زين ناس مارونجي ده سا سبب جاتوا ناس مارونجي من جاتوا جاتوا هو مريسا ده كل سنو ده ده انتحار ما ناتو من دار انتحار نفسه هو كان سلام ما جا Manatu yal pitana de, yani biduru sakit. Buzi kan nih na je salatin, yani hajal na derin, na derin salam kelija, asal yal na de keli kelima segidam. 
and also you see the issue of uh, of guns everywhere which is the main challenge there is a lot of confusion and as i'm talking to you, you see the culture and tradition of the people are disappearing daily the war can't allow us to do anything <laughs> I never gone abroad the country. I have grown up in Juba. I was born here and I was grown up here and sometimes I will go to the village. I will stay there for something like five months, especially when I was in the holidays. I will be there and then I have find so many, so many things among chiefs and then uh, among youths. And I have seen so many difference between chiefs who are in the villages and then chiefs who are in the cities. Like for example in Juba, in Juba here, now those youths they know that the only person who will guide them is the government institute or none. But in the in the village level, the only person who will guide the the youths, the only pe person who will guide who will guide who will guide the the youths or address the youths are the chiefs. Whenever I am having a stress about family issues, whenever I have complication about family issues, whenever I have doubt about family issues, I will never go to anyone else. Even I have mom. In my in my common pond, I, I have my own mother, but I will not consult my mother. Immediately, I will go direct to my chiefs. So, according to me, my chiefs is most most important person in my life because he's helping me so much, helping me so much. He's addressing me, giving me advice, and even when whenever I go to to him, he will say that Joshua, this is our time. Maybe tomorrow you will be chiefs also. Be near by me. And I will tell you what I have. I will tell you what I have. I will give you what I have. Maybe tomorrow, next tomorrow, we shall go. Whom else will you choose? Maybe your tribe will choose you to be a, a chief. So that you will act it in the same way that I'm acting. So whenever I came from school, I stay at home. I'm reluctant. There's nothing. I will say that, no, just let me go. And then I will go to him. He will tell me a lot of stories that even... I've never heard from my father, I've never heard from my mother. So my chiefs is very, very important person in my life. I'm one of the people who like to know exactly what is happening there, even though it has happened 10 years ago back. I need to know about it. Because when I come and talk to the people like this, they cannot be convinced. self Sudanese, they are not easy people to be convinced. At least you are knowing what this culture is, what how, how they... Uh, they deal with their uh, problems all these years. So I read books uh, for the, some African uh, states and uh, I try myself to be intellectual, knowing what is in my country also, even though no books there offer, uh, and all books is there and all the one. Others, they are much concerning with peace in South Sudan based on this conflict that we are in. But uh, this is what I try to do. But if I could have that time to read them, I will know more. And maybe later on I become chiefs also. <laughs> this way I can help them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, even like me, I'm planning to, to be a chief in future. Because I can see they are playing a great role. But not inside the city here. Me, I want to be a chief in a village. Because... Uh, I can see, in a, especially in a town here, there's no future for chiefs. There is no future for the chiefs in a city. So we need to help the chiefs. Without the chiefs, things may not work well, because they are, they are there to represent us, between us and the government, and sometimes within the communities. When there is a problem, we always go to the chief. We don't go anywhere. So in my own understanding, I don't really say that you, we youth should detach ourselves from the, from, from the chiefs. We are supposed to work together and help the chiefs so that they do their work rightly. <laughs>